Should you use a thumb pick for fingerstyle guitar? Or can you just play with your bare thumb? In today's video, I'm going to show you the advantages of using a thumb pick, and I'm also going to tell you the five reasons that I stopped using one altogether. Let's get started. <laughs> Welcome to today's lesson. I think you're really going to enjoy this. If you're interested in my thoughts on using a thumb pick, you're in the right place. Be sure to click that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell. The bell is very important. That way you'll be notified of my future uploads and by becoming a subscriber, you really help me out. It helps build the base here and it helps get the word out on guitar lessons to more people. So not only will you help yourself, but you'll be really helping me as well. Today's lesson is all about you playing like you. I'm not interested in getting you to do what I do, but since you're here, it means you've been thinking about this and this is a subject that's really preoccupied me for the last several years, thumb pick or no thumb pick, because I really love great thumb pickers. Tommy Emanuel, Richard Smith, Chet Atkins. I love what these guys do, but I've had to come to terms with the fact that I'm a different kind of musician. So I'm hoping that this helps you resolve some questions. Now, please let me know in the comments, do you use a thumb pick? Do you use your bare thumb? Do you use a thumbnail? How do you play the guitar? Go ahead, let me know in the comments. And as well, if you have a question, you can ask it there. So for the first several years of my touring career as a fingerstyle guitar player, I used a thumb pick 100% of the time. But eventually, I chose to stop using one based on my musical needs. So here are the five reasons that I stopped using a thumb pick. Reason number one, I love a fat sounding jazz bass. So before YouTube existed, I was a jazz guitar player and I played with some of the greatest bass players on earth. Literally, I played with guys like Bob Cranshaw, a few times with Buster Williams, played with the organist Lonnie Smith, and these guys had such a fat sound in the bass and could groove so hard that that has remained one of my deepest musical influences. So funk, R&B, walking bass lines, I needed the right color on the note in the low end. Reason number two, the groove. Okay, so the groove, that's a very broad sounding word. I determined for myself that the bare thumb grooves better than the thumb pick for me. And I'm going to tell you how you can do this test as well. Problem is, when we're playing, we always think our groove is fine. So we need a way to listen back. Simple. Take out your cell phone. Play into the cell phone. What does the groove sound like when you listen back? Because then you're out of the realm of feeling how it was when you were actually playing. So I took a few of my tunes over and over and over again, and I recorded them on my cell phone with a thumb pick 
and then without a thumb pick. And much to my surprise, the groove was always better, meaning I could move my body and feel as though I could dance when it was the flesh of the thumb. It sounded less clear, but the groove was better. Reason number three, musical technique. Okay, so when guitarists hear the word technique, they almost immediately think speed. speed. Now, musical technique, it's what makes something sound like music. And it's nice to have a few fast things that you can play, but music, Imagine having to provide a two-hour concert of music for everyday folks, not just guitar players, but for their wives and girlfriends, too. Yeah. They want to hear some nice music. And so you have to ask yourself, does the thumb pick lay the groundwork upon which you can do that? And that's a very personal question. The great classical guitar composer, Fernando Soar, he opened up the discussion about fingernails versus flesh. And he, was, he played with the fleshy nubs of his fingers. And he loved other guys who could play with fingernails, but he said it, he didn't feel that it gave him enough musical support. So remember, music is not just a display of tricks or speed, but it's playing songs for everyday folks. Reason number four, live sound and recorded sound. Okay, so I'm talking about these two things because in my live gigs and on recordings, a weakness became very clear to me and it was due to the way I was getting a sound with the thumb pick. At very many live gigs, I would go to the sound check and I kept telling the sound man, turn up the bass, turn up the bass, turn up the bass. So why was I doing that? <laughs> it's because I wasn't really making the bass here and I was asking them to turn it up artificially. Same thing happened recording. I remember recording uh, my, I remember Michael CD and that's all with thumb pick, that whole record. And in the mix sessions, we really had to zone in on some bass frequencies and bring them up because it just wasn't there. That problem went away. The minute I went to the flesh of the thumb, there's lots of bass here. If anything, I have to turn the bass down now. Reason number five, nervousness turning into confidence. Okay, so let me explain this one. When I started touring, and I was using a thumb pick, I found myself very, very nervous on stage, no matter how much I practiced. It was something wasn't right. It felt like I had very fragile ground under me. And when I went to the bare thumb, suddenly I found myself on stage going, what's going on? I'm like not nervous anymore. So that was really strange. And it was because my finger just always knows where, where the string is. I was going with nature. There you have it. These are questions you'll need to ask yourself. And like I said, there's more than one way to do it. And I love the great thumb pickers out there. But if you're in the throes, you're not sure, should you, shouldn't you? I'm hoping that some of my reasoning will help you at least think through your situation. Please go ahead and leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know, do you use a thumb pick? No thumb pick? What do you like? What don't you like? And I really look forward to seeing you in the next video. God bless.